Hi guys, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at the announcement of the launch by AMD of their new line of graphics cards and CPUs. First of all though, there seems to have been a really, really strong interest in NVIDIA's announcement of the new RTX cards. And what actually happened for the first time ever, it seems that Google Trends indicates that NVIDIA and RTX actually began to trend higher than AMD for the first time ever. Now I gotta ask, with this level of uh, interest in RTX in the RTX launch, it does raise the question as to whether these cards are actually going to be available in the shops for everyone who needs them. I mean, the prices are very good, but the demand has got to be through the roof. Uh, and the interest in, in NVIDIA right now is like nothing else I've ever seen before. Now, moving on to AMD's announcement, AMD announced two things, a launch date of 8th of October for their new Ryzen 4000 or Zen 3 CPU architecture uh, CPUs. Those are likely to be the most powerful desktop CPUs when they launch. AMD also announced the launch of their 6000 series RDNA2 GPUs on the 28th of October. Now the new desktop graphics cards are said to have a performance per watt improvement over the previous generation of more than 50%. And AMD have already won two big prizes. They are now installed in the Xbox as well as the PlayStation. So that's quite an achievement. And on top of that, the professional cars are the ones being used in Apple's high-end machines right now. So it's been a pretty triumphant year for AMD. Hopefully they'll be able to focus a little bit more in the coming year on their noise uh, temperatures and their drivers. Now, some of the rumors surrounding RDNA 2 and Big Navi are pretty wild. There are some suggestions that they could be a 16 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte card uh, around 500 or 600 dollars. So that would be pretty good if they can manage that. There are also some rumors that uh, the RTX 3060 Ti will be launching in October. Now, these are coming from video cards who say that they got the information from some of NVIDIA's board partners, but we don't have any confirmation of that yet. However, if the information is true and it looks at this stage pretty likely that there's some sort of substance to the rumors, if it's true, then the CUDA cores within the new cars will be so plentiful that the 3060 Ti, if it does launch, will be more powerful than the 2070 Super. Now, continuing with NVIDIA, they actually had a, an unboxing for their 3080, the official unboxing. And during that uh, video, they confirmed that at least one of their cars will be able to do 4K at 120 hertz on a single cable and i think that's going to be the hdmi cable both uh, pc world and tech radar are saying that the 3070 gpu is going to be launching on october the 15th so it's going to be fairly close to the amd announcement and i think um i think there's going to be maybe a little bit of price competition going on so it's quite possible that amd are going to be adjusting their prices even as we speak so that they can be competitive with nvidia and that's going to be a good thing so that is going to be it for this one guys i hope you found some of that useful i'll see you in the next video